Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our Divi documentation video to learn more about the Maps module. So this is a powerful module that allows you to insert Google Maps right on your website anywhere you want and add custom pins as well as a lot of cool design features. So what we're gonna do in this video is show you how to use it and then give you one example on how to really customize it and make it something special uh, as opposed to just having a map on your page. Check it out. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Divi's map module within the Visual Builder. The map module allows you to embed a Google map with custom pins anywhere on your page. Let's check it out. So the first thing we want to do is obviously navigate to the page we'd like to add our map to. In this case, I'm using a sort of generic contact page that I've built um, using our predefined templates. And go ahead and activate or enable our Visual Builder. Now, before we do that, I do want to note that if this is your first time using the Google Maps module and you've never set it up before, there is one step you're going to want to take, and that is adding the Google Maps API key to Divi. So it's really easy to check if you've done that or not. Go to your theme options, under Divi theme options, come down here under the general tab, and where it says Google API key, if you don't have an API key right here, you need to get one. So how do you do that? Well, you'll notice there's a little question mark right here. If you click on that, this help text will pop up and there's a link on how to get your API key. So you click there. It'll take you to our documentation page where we have linked to the Google Developers Console. So click that link and follow the prompts to get your API key. So let's see. I will go ahead and click continue here. This is really simple. This is all you have to do. And it'll take a few moments as that processes. Once it takes you to the next page, all you have to do is click the Create button. And there is your API key. So you'll copy that. Go ahead and close out of these extra tabs here. And go back into your theme options and you'll want to paste that API key in, scroll up to your Save Changes button, and now you're ready to go. Okay, so assuming you may have already done that or you just did that, you can now enable your Visual Builder and everything should be set to go with the Maps module. So what I'd like to do is add a big map full width right in between my header and my body section. So I've created a full width header at the top here and what I'm going to do is add a full width uh, map. Now you can also use a standard section or um, include the maps module in, you know, say maybe just over here, which I'll show you how to do. But for the first example here, we're just going to click on this plus icon to add a new full width section. And when it prompts me to add a module, I'm going to choose the full width map module. Okay, so we're immediately brought into a settings panel for the full width map settings. Under the content tab, I'm gonna wanna expand my map here and you'll see my API keys in there. And this is, the first thing I wanna do is center my map where I want it. So first things first, uh, I'm just gonna center it on the city that I'm in. Columbus, Ohio, click find. Okay, so now it's centered on, on our state house here. So it's right in the middle of, uh, of our map. And we'll come back and tweak that in a second. What we want to do next is add a pin. So I can put a pin anywhere on this map. And I would like to, so we're already centered over this. So let's pick something a little farther away. Like say the convention center. Columbus, Ohio Convention Center, click find. It has found it. And if I want, I can add some text to that that will show up on the map. Let me put DiviCon location. And then write some descriptive text here
And if I wanted, I could probably even add a little link in here. So say I wanted to do something like that. I'll just add a, a blank link. Now, let's go back. So let's hit save that pin setting. Now let's go back down here and make sure that our center includes our new pin. So up there's our pin. Let's go out a little bit farther, a little bit farther. So now we have the city and our pin is visible. That's much nicer. Maybe go a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so that's how I want that to be set up. I'm going to go ahead and click the save icon down here in the bottom right hand corner. And you can see if you click on that, you've got your text and a working link and everything. And you can add as many of those as you want all over this page. Uh, there's other settings in here too. In the design settings, you can go to your controls. And let's say you don't like it when you scroll down the page and uh, your mouse is over the map, it zooms in and out. So you can turn that feature off. And you can also prevent a similar thing from happening on mobile by disabling dragging on mobile. And save there. So there you have it. You've got a nice little map here. You can um, always hit Command Save to save your settings. Or if you want to do it manually, you can come down here to the Settings uh, dock, open it up by clicking this big button in the middle. And then in the right hand corner, you've got your Save button and you can save your, your progress. Um, so that's cool. We've got our new map, full width map in here, but let's say we want to experiment. We're not quite sure that's where we want our map. Um, let's go ahead and right click on this setting here. And let's disable it. So we're not deleting it, we're just disabling it so that when we, sit, when we deactivate the visual builder, it won't appear on the page. And let's go ahead and add Let's replace this more info with a map. Click the map module. And I'm more or less going to do the exact same thing. And as you can see, it's showing up quite nicely here, exactly the same way I did before. I'll change these controls the way I want. You can also add filters. So over here, I've got a 100% grayscale filter on it, or I can adjust that to my preference. I'd like to turn it off. And of course, you've got your CSS ID and class, CSS spaces here for uh, entering in customizations before to the main element and after the main element. And you can also adjust the visibility if you want to have this visible on just desktop, phone, tablet. Um, you can customize those preferences here. Okay, so that is all I want to do with this version or this uh, side map here. So I'm going to save that. And now I've got my choice. I can choose one or the other. And when I save my changes, I can exit the Visual Builder. And I've got a nice new map either right here Or up above.